Hey, Robert here with Zenfolio. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to organize the content that you upload to your Zenfolio account using groups, galleries, and collections. If you'd like to skip ahead to a specific section in the video, make sure to check out the timestamps in the description below. Let's go ahead and get started. Whenever you get started in Zenfolio, you have a couple of different options to use to organize your account. Okay, we have things called groups, galleries, and collections. And I wanna show you what these look like, explain the different uses, and show you how you can utilize all of these different things to kind of keep your account nice and organized. This is a group. It looks just like a folder on your computer. Groups are what's gonna help you build this organization so that you don't come in here and have a thousand galleries that have been unorganized. You have them in these little sections created by groups like this. Trust me, if you guys are new on Zenfolio, you wanna get started with this organization now and not wait till later when you have hundreds of galleries that you have to sort through. You can put other groups inside of a group, you can put galleries inside of a group, and you can even put collections in a group, but you cannot upload photos directly into a group. So groups, think about them as strictly for organizational purposes, right? So the next thing I wanna talk about is a gallery. And so this is what a gallery is right here. That has the little landscape looking icon right here. Okay, and galleries are where you can actually upload your content. So galleries can contain only photos and videos and that's it. So you can't put other galleries inside of galleries. You can't do any kind of organizational structure within a gallery. They just strictly hold content. So they just hold photos and videos. And then the last thing that I wanna talk about and the last thing that you ever want to use is a collection, okay? And in fact, I'm gonna tell you don't use a collection. What a collection is, is a collection does not actually contain anything. Even though when we click on this collection right here, you can see in here there's photos and it looks like a video. These photos are actually stored in other galleries and so is the video. So collections basically contain desktop shortcuts of images that actually exist from somewhere else. They're actually in a different gallery somewhere. And the reason that I will tell you not to use a collection is because if you'll notice each one of these photos, well, these two photos have a red lock icon on there. This one has a uh, yellow one. So these are private and this is password protected. That's because these particular pieces of content are coming from galleries that are either private or password protected. And when you add those things to a collection, you actually cannot go in here and change that password protection or the private settings on these photos within a collection. You have to go find that photo back in its original gallery and change the setting there. Okay, so now that we've kind of talked about these different things, how can you use them to create an organization in your account to make it easier for you to navigate, to find the things that you're looking for, possibly even make it easier for your clients to navigate if you're letting your clients get access to specific folders, right? Well, you can create a, um, a gallery or a group structure kind of like this one. So this is kind of what I have set up in here. First of all, I do recommend that you have a group for anything like your portfolio work where you're gonna have it be public. And then inside of there, you can have galleries of public photos. Then I also have um, a group for my clients where I actually will password protect my clients' photos like this, okay? And so you can use, like I said, you can use that stuff to create different sections in your account and then create um, you know, like a folder or a structure tree in there to navigate. And so just to show you a quick sample of how maybe you might think about setting this up, is you might think about, okay, I want to set up something for my clients so that I can easily navigate through my clients' galleries. I know every year I'm going to have lots of different clients and I don't want to have to sort through all of my client galleries to find certain ones. And so what you might think about doing is going up to all photographs, creating a new group, maybe just calling this clients, and I'm gonna call it clients two since I already have a clients uh, group in here. I'm gonna call it clients two. And then you wanna think about what kind of organization do you want? Because if you just upload client galleries directly into that folder, again, you're eventually gonna end up with this long list of galleries that you now have to sift through. 
So what you want to think about is maybe I want to organize by year inside of there. And then if I do a lot of different kinds of photography, I might want to also organize by shoot type, right? So what I typically would do is come in here and say, okay, let's create a, uh, a group for this year. And then inside of that group for this year, let's create a new group and I'm just clicking the little carrot menu. Let's create a new group for all of my portrait clients. And let's also create a group for maybe my wedding clients. Okay. Now, one of the things that I would probably also do is since these are client galleries, you probably don't want them showing up in search results and different things like that. So you might want to go back to that main client folder right here and then go to access and you can set it to private if you want. You will have to individually password each client gallery if you're going to use password protected client galleries. But the biggest thing is you really probably want to turn this search option off. So if you click on search, you can go to do not include search any search results. And then that will prevent Google from searching for or indexing any of that information that's in there. If you want to keep them really secure, maybe you do boudoir photography, maybe you photograph kids, I would recommend going ahead and setting that main group up to be private. That way, anytime you upload new content, it's automatically going to set it to private, and then you can go to that individual gallery and then uh, password protect it and send it to a client. Okay. And so once you kind of have this set up, if I went in here and I created a new client gallery, let's say I, I uploaded a new client gallery, um, let's just say new gallery, and we'll say um, Oliver family uh, portraits. Okay. Now, when I created that gallery, by default, since it was inside of this folder, it took on that private setting. And this is a good thing because this means that nothing is able to see it. Nobody's able to find it. It's not showing up on Google or anything like that. And then once I'm ready for this gallery to actually go out to my client, all I do is click on the gallery go up here to access, switch the gallery from being private to lock it with a password, save it, and then I can email that gallery out to the client and just tell them what their password is and then they can gain access to it. And then the last couple of things I'm gonna show you guys is how to upload into a new gallery and then also how to upload into an existing gallery. Let's say you just did a shoot and you want to go in and uh, just create a new gallery and go ahead and upload into it. So let's say that this is a client gallery that I'm uploading and maybe it's an engagements gallery. So I'm going to go to that engagements group inside of my clients and just click this little drop down and say new gallery. Then I'll give it a name. I'll say lens, um, lens engagement session. There we go. Okay, and then I've created that gallery. Now all I have to do is hit upload. Now, since that is a gallery, I cannot drag a folder into this. I only can add photos or videos. So then I would just need to go into wherever that session is, grab the photos. I can do it like this and drop them in there. Or you can just click add photos like this go in and find your photo and upload it that way as well. Now, the next thing I'll show you is how do you upload into an existing gallery? Maybe you already have some galleries created. Maybe you edited some photos. Maybe you just need to add some more to a session. So I would just navigate to their gallery and then click on upload right here. And then just do the same thing, either drag and drop their photos in here if I'm on Google Chrome, or click the add photos button, go find their photos and upload them. And then that would be uploading into that existing gallery. You can actually upload folders with up to three folder deep structures inside of them. So let me kind of show you what I mean. Let's say I'm just getting started here on Zenfolio and I have a portfolio that I want to upload. And I have it in this folder and inside of that folder, I have subfolders for maybe the different genres of photography that I shoot. And uh, inside of there, maybe some of those folders have folders like this, where then there are actually images like this. Okay. And let's say I want to recreate this same exact organization there on Zenfolio, but I don't want to have to go in there and do it manually like I just did. Like 
let's say um, maybe I have a lot of folders in there and I'm like, man, it's going to take me all day to go in there and recreate that structure. Well, you actually don't have to. You can upload this folder and we'll actually rebuild that organizational structure for you. So just to show you how to do that really quick, the first thing you have to be, do is you have to click on a group. Okay, because remember, the only thing that you can put groups in is other groups. You cannot upload a group into a gallery. Well, your all photographs section right here is actually a group. And so if I wanted to get that portfolio uploaded, I could click on that all photographs if I wanted to. Hit the upload button right here. And then I can simply just drag and drop this folder. And so I'm not actually going to upload this because I've already uploaded this. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. But this is by far one of the best ways, especially if you're getting started, to get your content uploaded and organized really quickly. So if I just go back and we go down to this uh, portfolio demo right here, okay, and if I click on this and if I just expand it, you guys can see right here, abandoned, 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 wow, abandoned, um, it already has the photos in it. So again, just showing you that, that organization, portfolio demo, if I go to abandoned, it just has photos. So it became a gallery. But if I went to headshots, where there are these two subfolders, that is why this headshot became a group with then the two subfolders inside of it.